Hello and welcome to our Astranti Bite Size video. What you see in front of you right now is an extract from our P2 video series on data and information, which is part of our P2 full course of materials. Now this topic actually comes up in P3 and E3 as well as the case study because more and more digital technology is becoming an important part of business and SEMA want to make sure you understand it, including things like understanding the sources of data. So let's take a look now at big data in this video extract. And given that there's more data in the world than there's ever been before, and it's coming from more sources than there's ever been before, and it needs to be more relevant, more reliable, more accurate than it's ever been before to gain a competitive advantage, it's important that organizations have systems in place that can analyze this vast amount of data. And that brings us on to the next section of this video, which looks at big data. And we're going to start by looking at the uses of big data. The Gartner's 4Vs, which is a very important model for you to learn. And then we'll also look at the big data processes and some additional uses of big data. And I'm going to give you an example of Walmart to kick things off. And I'm sure you're all aware that Walmart is an enormous American retail chain. And Walmart was examining lots of data in its databases, trying to find patterns between sales. And by using a data analysis system, they found that the sales of nappies and beer rose in the evening. And the reason for this was that people were going to a shop on the way home from work and they were purchasing nappies because they had a young baby at home. And while they were there, they thought, I'm going to buy myself some beer. And so this seems like a really dubious link, but actually there is logic to it. And so what Walmart did was then they decided to put the nappies and beer closer to each other within their stores. And as a result, sales of both actually increased again. So there is method in the madness here. They identified a link that to the naked eye you perhaps would never have seen and they used it to make a decision to change the layout of their shops or to move two products closer together. And as a result, sales of both items actually increased to a further extent. And this is the benefits and the value of using big data. So I'm gonna give you a formal definition of big data now. Big data describes volumes of data from a wide variety of sources that can be processed to produce useful information for a range of decision-making purposes. We're always coming back to this idea of being used for decision-making purposes. And uh, there's so much information out there and big data systems can be used to analyze all this information. It has an almost universal application and there's always conclusions to be drawn from enormous amounts of data, but you have to have a system in place that can analyze it effectively. You can't just look at this information as an individual and draw these conclusions. You have to have a system in place that analyzes it effectively. So I'm gonna give you some examples of big data and how it's being used in the real world. So an example of this could be hospitals. And big data has been used by hospitals to monitor patient details. So monitors the treatment that they've sought monitors how likely they are to need to come back into the hospital, how likely they are to uh, take their medication, how likely they are to do their exercises, etc. And the whole purpose of this is to prevent readmission. And the more that they can do to prevent readmission in the future, the more money the hospitals will save in the long run. Consumer goods companies, they will monitor the vast worlds of Facebook and Twitter and as a result, they'll be able to gain insight into consumer behavior, the kinds of things that they enjoy, the kinds of things that they like, the kinds of things that they purchase, and what times of year they purchase it at. And also get some insight into what individuals are saying about their products. If a consumer goods company asks a particular customer 
about their product while they're in the shop or something like that. It will be quite formal, whereas they get a real insight if they look at what they are posting on social media. And also governments as well may use all this data systems to monitor crime rates rather than just looking at the number of crimes. They'll also be looking at whether they're increasing, whether they're decreasing, what areas they're increasing, decreasing, and also for changes in society as well. Is there a direct link between increased poverty and increased crime and being able to link all these different things together? And as a result, perhaps being able to solve crime at the source rather than just stopping it once it's already happened or punishing the offenders once it has already happened. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to view more content like this, including mocks, revision notes, and even question tutorials, you can head on over to the Estranti website where we offer a full course that gives you access to this wide variety of materials and more to help you pass your exam. Now, if you'd like to get in contact with us and see more posts like this, you can subscribe to our social media channels, which include Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.